All right, we are down here at Bartlett Bridge Raceway, and I'm standing here with Lee from Amsoil. How about you go ahead and introduce yourself, actually? All right, well, thank you. I'm Lee from Four Seasons Synthetic, your Amsoil factory connection, and I'm pleased to be here at Bartlett Bridge for the Amsoil Dominator Racing Dash for Cash. Yeah, it's special for these guys out here tonight. I know they're running a lap feature race, and what else is extra special for these guys? Well, everybody has a garage full of trophies. This Dash for Cash has a $1,000 payout to the top three. What would it mean to you if you were out there racing with that much money on the line? Oh, you got to go for all you can. <laughs> Let it all hang out. Let it all hang out. We're going to see some good racing tonight here at Butler Bridge Raceway. So all nine kart drivers making their way into the go-karts. Scotty Frazier bringing back the One to Go show tonight just for you guys, ladies and gentlemen. The One to Go show. Nine drivers fighting it out for 50 laps and $500 to win. The One to Go show. One more lap before turning these drivers loose. The Dearborn Kart Shop number four in the five machine of Josh Bath will lead the field down to the green flag as they work through turn three and four. The green flag is in the air. We are racing. Down to turn one and two we go. Erwin Carey with the number four machine. Out to the lead, Josh Bass on the outside. Mike Ricker to the inside. Battles on for second and third. Ricker to the inside. He will take over second. Here comes Spencer Barth in cart 44. The seven time winner in the no-head battle division. Just so far this season runs in the fourth spot as Erwin Carey runs out front. Mike Ricker in cart 16. Nose to tail with the leader throughout the field. Erwin Carey and still leading with Mike Ricker and Josh Bath here in top three. Starting to pull away from the rest of the field. Remember, this is not 25 laps, it is 50 laps. As they work off of turn number four, still single file throughout the field. No change within the top three. Spencer Parth in cart 44 runs in fourth. Jared Medor in cart 66 runs in the fifth spot. Jason Horn, Diane Austin, Nicole. Nicole Sullivan in the 135 with Ted James rounds out the field. Top three still knows the tail, just pacing themselves. Unlike in each and every Friday night race. This is a 50 laps, not 25 laps. As the top three still nose to tail. Battle a little bit deeper on in the field, battling out for the eighth position at cart 12 and the cart 135 of Ted James, but the battle's still back up to the front. Erwin Carey starting to open up his gap between himself and Mike Ricker. Josh Bath on the back bumper of Ricker still. Spencer Barstern open up a gap between himself and Jason Horn as they work down the back straightaway. Ted James on a shape off of turn number four, he keeps it going. Nicole Sylvan and Ted James in the 135 getting ready to go lap down to your race leader, Erwin Carey. We're still clean and green as the 135 of James and O's. Sylvan spins around off turn number four. She will keep it going, the yellow flag is in the air. That will bunch the field back up as they work themselves through turn three and four. Green flag is in the air. We are back on the way. Ricker with a little bit of a jump on the outside as they work through turn number one and two. Erwin Carey is going to clear him. Here comes Josh Bath to take over the second spot. Jason Horn now looking for a little bit more in cart 27. He takes over fourth. Spencer Barth falls back to fifth. All nose to tail throughout the field once again. Just pacing themselves. Big thank you to Amsoil as they came on board and sponsored this big event at the beginning of the season. 50 lap shootout tonight. Thank you to Amsoil as they're sponsoring this race tonight and sponsoring this division throughout the 2017 campaign. Hard into the walls, Ted James and off the back straightaway. That's gonna bring out the red flag. Ted James hard into the wall. Diane Austin spun as well. Red flag immediately on the field. 
the AMS Oil 4 Season Synthetic Black Kurt Division. $500 to the winner as they work off corner number four. Green flag is back in the air. As they roll back in the turn one and two, Erwin Carey with the lead. Mike Bricker looks for the second spot on the Josh Bat. Side by side for second. John in the number 44 machine as Spencer Barth works his way up to third. Down the back straightaway in the turn three and four. Erwin Carey, Mike Bricker, Spencer Barth, your top three. Nose to tail, single file racing throughout the top five. Battle deeper on in the field. Nicole Silvin, Diana Austin, and Ted James all going at it for those spots. And both the girls get very loose. Austin stops in the infield. Halfway as the caution flag comes out right at halfway. Caution flag back in the air for Diana Austin. Erwin Carey in the hot seat. Ricker on the outside trying to get the jump. Green flags back in here. Mike Ricker with a heck of a start on the outside. Tries to come down, cannot make it work. Here comes Spencer Barth looking to the inside of Ricker. Cannot make it happen. Halfway through this 50 lap feature. Barth to the inside of Josh Bath. He takes over third. Here comes Jacob Menor in cart 66. Looks to the inside, cannot make it happen. Jason Hall looks underneath the door, cannot make it happen. Sylvan got really loose off turn number four. She kept it going. Thank you, Sylvan. Back to the battle up front. Erwin Carey, Mike Crooker battling it out for the top two spots. Spencer Barth in the 44 runs in the third position. Down the back straightaway into turn three and four. Single file throughout the field. Here comes Jason Horn to the inside of Menor. He will take over fifth. Sylvan getting really loose off the corners in cart number 12. The battle still hot and heavy for first and second as they start to pull away from Spencer Barth in cart 44. Earl and Carey in the Dearborn cart shot number four still out front. Mike Ricker and Spencer Barth, your top three. Battle starting to heat up for the fourth spot. Jason Horn tries Tries to make his way to get his way into the money. He looks at the inside of Josh Babb, trying to use the 12 with Sylvan as a pick. Closest battle on the speedway is for that top spot as Sylvan really wreaking havoc on the rest of the field. Erwin Carey, Mike Bricker, Spencer Barth, no change in the top three. As a top two still going at him for the top spot. Ricker biting his time in cart 16, last week's winner, trying to go back to back and trying to be $500 richer. It only pays $300 per second, we all know for sure. None of those top two or nobody in this field wants to finish second. They want to take home that $500 prize. A cart link between Erwin Carey and Mike Ricker as they go through turn number two. Battle starting to close in and starting to heat up between third, fourth, and fifth. Spencer Barth has the third spot. Josh Bath and Jason Horn starting to close in on him. As Carey's now starting to close in on the back bumper of the 07 of Diana Austin to put her a lap down the Austin Carts and Parts 07. Ted James still in the race in the 135. Knocked it out of the ballpark. Still going in cart 135. So he's trying to find a way around Sylvan. Battle starting to heat up for third, fourth, and fifth. A lot of traffic now going to play a role in this one. Earl and Carey got through it pretty cleanly. Mike Bricker now to the inside. Those two make it through all nice and quick. They will send on the top spot amongst themselves as they have a straightaway lead over third place Spencer Barr. the 2016 Flathead Division Champion. Coming to two laps to go. Popsicle sticks in the air in the Dearborn card shot number four. Down the back straightaway into turn three and four. The white flag is in the air. One final lap around the Byron Bridge Raceway. Final time down the back straightaway. What does Mike Cricker have? Does he have anything for him? Unable to do it. Erwin carries $500 richer. Mike Cricker takes home in the second spot. 
In the third spot is Spencer Barth. In fourth is Josh Bath. And then Jacob Medora rounds out the top five in cart 66. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Erwin Carey taking on the victory in the Dearborn cart shop number four as he picks up the checkered flag from Chief Starter Scotty Frazier. Big thank you to Amsoil for sponsoring this race tonight. Fireworks going off on the back straightaway. Great job for Erwin Carey taking home the win. Started from the pole in cart number four and takes home the win. Give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. He is $500 richer. It was pretty good, you know, I got out, got out in the lead. Thank God I drew one. Uh, just held my, held my lines every time, you know, hit my spots. And I could hear him right behind me every lap, just kept on hitting my spots and we bring it home. Yeah, winning the $500, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And a uh, special thanks uh, to uh, Amsoil for putting this race on, uh, putting this whole class on for the, for the whole year. You know, it's uh, people like you and uh, companies like you that make this possible for, for us to go put on a good show and uh, have a lot of fun.